dear students today we will discuss about the coding theory in principle of communication subject so what is the coding theory and what is the application what is the role of coding theory in the communication systems so we will discuss different contents one by one so first one is the error correction code channel coding second one is the classification of errors third one error detection technique and error correcting technique and last one is drawback of the coding techniques so these are the some contents about the coding and classification of error correcting codes types of error control types of linear block codes definition related to codes overview of error control coding technique automatic repeat request arq forward error correction fec technique transmission errors power and bandwidth channel error detection method and cyclic redundancy check so these are the some contents about the coding theory so introduction coding theory is one of the most important and direct application of information theory it can be subdivided into source coding theory and channel coding theory so using a statistical description of data information theory quantify the number of bits needed to describe the data which is the information entropy of the source so what is the coding theory sometime called algebraic coding theory deal with the design of error correcting codes for the reliable transmission of information across noisy channels it makes use of classical and modern algebraic technique involving finite fields group theory and polynomial algebra it has also connections with other areas of discrete mathematics especially number theory and the theory of experimental designs so this is the introduction about the coding theory and next there are two aspects of coding theory first one is the data compression or source coding second one is the error correction or channel coding so these are the types that is essentially two aspect of the coding theory so first one is the data compression or source coding so what is the source coding there are two formulations for the compression problem first one is loss less data compression the data must be reconstructed exactly in loss less data compression second one is lossy data compression allocates bits needed for reconstruction the data within a specified fidelity level measured by distortion function so this subset of information theory is called rate distortion theory or rdt second one is the error correcting codes or channel coding so what is the channel coding while data compression remove as much redundancy as possible 
and error correcting codes at just the right kind of redundancy. For example, error corrections needed to transmit the data efficiently and faithfully across a noisy channel. Now we will discuss about the classification of ports. So these are three types. First one is error detecting, second one is error correcting, and next one is error correction technique. So content classification of errors. In classification of errors, content error, error in the content of message introduced due to noise during transmission and flow integrity error missing blocks of data, data lost in network or data delivered to wrong destination. So, that is the classification of errors. Next one is the error detection technique. So there are three types of error detection techniques. First one is parity checking. Second one is check some error detecting. Third one is cycling redundancy check CRC. So what is the error correcting technique based on generation of code words at the transmitter and codes word contains the data bit and check bits. There are some drawbacks of coding techniques. So first one is increased transmission bandwidth because of addition of extra bits. Second drawback is increased complexity of communication <coughs> system. So classification of error correcting codes. In this given diagram, there is the code word length that is the n bits, and which have k message bits and n minus k parity bits. So a message signal is empty is fit to the encoder with impulse response ST. So output of this encoder will be encoded output empty multiply ST. ST is the transfer function of encoders. So there are also another some classifications of course so first one is the linear codes and second one is the non-linear codes linear codes have the unique property that when any two codes word of linear code are added in module 2 adder a third code word is produced which is also a code which is not the case for non-linear codes What is the type of error controls? So, first one type of error control is automatic request for retransmission ARQ. In ARQ, the receiver can request for retransmission of complete or part of message requiring additional channel or feedback channels. Second one is forward error correction FEC. So no feedback channel is available. In coding theory, a linear code is an error correcting code for which any linear combination of code word is also a code word. And linear code are traditionally 
partition into block ports and convolutional ports. Although turbo ports can be seen as a hybrid of the two types, so linear code allows for more efficient encoding and decoding algorithms than other ports. In coding theory, block ports comprise the large and important family of error correcting codes that encode data in blocks. Examples of block codes are Reed Solomon codes, Hemming codes, Hermard codes, and Expander codes, Foley codes, and Reed Muller codes. These examples also belong to the class of linear codes and hence they are called linear block codes. Type of linear block codes. So there are different types of linear block codes. First, what is it? cyclic codes or hemming codes next one repetition codes parity codes polynomial codes or vch codes read solomon codes algebraic geometric codes read muller codes perfect codes single parity check bit codes repeated codes hermer codes extended codes and also volley codes. So we have some important definition related to codes. So what is the code word? The code word is the n bit encoded block of bits. It contains massive bits and parity or redundant bits. And next one is the block length. So what is the block length? Block length, the number of bits and after coding is known as block length. And next one is code rate. So the code rate is defined as the ratio of a number of message bit K to the total number of bit N in a code word. So, code rate is k per n. Next one is code vector. N, n bit code word can be visualized in an n dimensional space as a vector whose elements or coordinates are bits in the code word. Next one is the Hemming distance. So in Hemming distance, it is the distance between the two ports expressed in the number of locations in which their respective elements differ. And Hemming weight of a code word WX, it is defined as the number of non-zero elements in the code word. And what is the code efficiency? So code efficiency, it is defined as the ratio of message bits to the number of transmitted bits per block. Code efficiency is equal to that of code rate. Minimum distance, D minimum, it is defined as the smallest Hemming distance between any pair of ports vector in the ports. So this is the minimum distance. The minimum. This block diagram shows the overview of error control coding technique, in which error control coding technique is divided in two parts. First one is forward error correcting, and second one is the hybrid. ARQ and third one is the automatic repeat 
request a rq and uh, next forward error correcting divided in two part first one is consignment error and linear error correcting codes and again linear error correcting code divided in two type first one is block code second was it convolution convolution convolutional codes and also block codes next one is block codes and vch codes and vch code divided into two first one is the read solo one codes second was second one is hemming codes and linear error correcting codes have the convolutional codes and this codes divided into three parts first one is self orthogonal codes second one is trial and error codes and third one is recursive systematic coding rs so this block diagram so the overview of error control coding techniques next one is the error detection and correction capability so here is some description and some expression so first description is detect up to s error per word so expression is d distance minimum is greater than or equal to s plus 1 description second correct up to t error per word so expression for this the minimum distance is greater than or equal to 2t plus 1 and third one description is correct up to t errors and detect s greater than t error per word so expression for this the minimum distance is greater than or equal to t plus s plus 1 so these are the some description and also you know, expression of them next one is the automatic repeat request a r q here when an error is detected a request is made for retransmission of signals and a feedback channel is necessary for this transmission. It differs from the FEC system in the following three aspects. First one is less number of check bit parity bit are required, increasing the k per n ratio for nk block codes. And additional hardware to implement feedback path is required here. And third one is the but rate of forward transmission need to make allowance for backward repeat transmission. Operation of a RU. So in this block diagram, there is a message input is feed to the encoder and the output of this encoder will be fit to the input buffer and controller and output of this buffer controller is again fit to the forward transmission channel and this is detected by the detector and between detector and a buffer control there is the return transmission channel the output of this detector is the output buffer and controller so for each message signal at the input the encoder produced code word which are stored temporarily at encoder output and transmitted over forward transmission channel so at the destination 
decode and decode the signal and give a positive respectively in case no error and error is detected on receipt of nak the controller retransmit the appropriate word stored in the input buffer so this is the operation of the rq and also the bit rate of return transmission involving ack nak transmission is lower compared to bit rate of forward transmission decreasing the probability error in return transmission to such a small value that it may be neglected there exist three type of ARQ system. First one is stop and wait ARQ. Second one is go back and ARQ. And next one selective repeat ARQ. Forward error correction FEC technique. Next one is the FEC technique. In a digital modulation system where discrete source generates information in binary form, the channel encoder accepts these message bits and add redundant bits to them, leaving higher bit rate for transmission. So channel encoders use the redundant bits to check for actually and Erroneous transmitted message. So, this technique, MEC technique, will also draw in this diagram. There is a different networks. First one is the discrete source, channel encoder, discrete channel, and also noise mixing and channel decoder. And destinations so that is the FEC technique next one is the transmission errors so there are two types of transmission errors first one is random error and second one worst errors so random error are those that occur in purely random manner DCS codes are useful in dealing with this sort of errors. So with the help of VCC, VCH code, we sort the random errors. Next one is the worst error occur in form of one change and are not independent. Convolution codes are not effective for this sort of errors. Higher codes which form a subclass of cyclic codes are effective in mitigating these type of errors. So interleaving is a technique which is used as an alternative for correcting worst errors. So what is the power and benefit of the channels? So let the input data rate be bit per second. The FEC encoder convert this into code word at a rate of bit per R where R stands for information rate. The M symbol modular convert the encoder output into M possible symbol constellation having the symbol rate R as B per KR board at the output. So minimum system bandwidth required for successful transmission is the bandwidth efficiency where N equal to number array of ESK. So band limited channel in band limited channel, they have finite fixed bandwidth signals requiring large bandwidth. Therefore, cannot be transmitted over 
the channels without distortion. Telephonic lines come under band limited channels. And what is the power limited channels? In power limited channels, they have limited power associated with them. What have large bandwidth? Satellite channels, for example, satellite channels, it is therefore possible to accommodate FEC even with increased data rate. There are some error detection methods. So error correction is only possible to if error are detected in the whole world. These exist many methods for error detections. The most popular ones are first is the parity checking and next one is check some error detection and third one is cyclic redundancy check CRC. So these are the some detection, error detection methods. First one is the parity checking. Here an additional bit is appended with the existing message bit known as the parity bit. As a result of addition of this extra bit, the resultant word now will have either even or old parity. Or a, for example, number of one in the code word will be either even or all. So if it is known that the parity of the received message is always going to be even or odd as the case may be and if the received signal does not tally with the expected result, the presence of an error is detected. The limitation of this method is that it can only detect odd number errors and also it is unable to locate the position of the error. Next one is check some error detection. For worst error parity check method is not useful. Here then the check some method is applied. Here the checksum is transmitted along with every block of data bytes, 8 bits. Here an 8 bit accumulator is used to add 8 bit of a block of data to find the checksum and carry in the MSV are discounted while finding the checksum byte. Transmission of Data byte is followed by transmission of checksum byte, which is regenerated at the receiver separated by adding the received bytes. After comparison with the transmitted byte, if results are identical, it is concluded that no error has occurred otherwise there exist errors. As byte of checksum is transmitted, there is 255 to 1 chance of detecting random error. Next one is cyclic redundancy check, CRC. The concept of parity checking can we extend it from detection to correction of single error by arranging the data block in rectangular matrix? This will lead to two sets of parity bits longitudinal redundancy check LRC and vertical redundancy check VRC. 
longitudinal redundancy check in longitudinal redundancy check one row is taken up at a time and counting the number of about one the parity with a adjusted to achieve even parity here for checking the message block the complete character known as block check character pcc is added at the end of the block of information which may be even or odd parity vertical redundancy check in drc the sky code for individual alphabets are considered arranged vertically and then counting the number of one the parity width is adjusted to achieve even parity a single error in any bit will result in a non correct lrc in the row and a non correct brc in the row the bit which is common to both the row and column is the bit in error the limitation is to it can detect multiple errors but it is capable to correct only a single error as for multiple error it is not suitable to locate the position of the errors one in the square box in the next table is the bit in error as it is evident from the errorless result both in the lrc and the drc columns so this is the crc the characters c o m e u p e r and seven bit sky post message bits here b1 to b7 and also lrc bits here One and zero, and also we are seeing this in this table. Next one is the source coding forum. So, what is the source coding forum? the theorem describes the or establishes fundamental limit on error free communication over both reliable reliable and unreliable channels so this is the fundamental limits on error free communication over both reliable and unreliable channels in this section we turn to the case in which the channel is error free what the communication process itself is lost under these circumstances the principal function of the communication system is information compression the average error introduced by the compression is constant to some maximum allowable label p we want to determine the smallest rate at which information about the source can be conveyed to the user this problem is specifically addressed by a branch of information theory known as rate distortion theory or dt in this blog diagram let's the information source and decoder output be defined by the finite 
assembles a z and b z respectively so here in this block diagram information source and channels and also encoder and decoder that is the communication system right now and the assumption now is that a channel of the in this figure is error free so a channel matrix q which release z to v in accordance with v equal to qz can be thought of as modeling the encoding decoding process alone because the encoding decoding process is deterministic where q determines an artificial zero memory channel that model the effect of the compression and decompression each time the source produces source symbols q it is the represented by a code symbol that is then decode to yield output symbol vk with probability q addressing the problem of encoding the source so that the average distorts sun is less than d a non negative cost function p a b called a distortion measures can be used to define the penalty associated with the producing source output with decoder output bk the output of the source is random so the distortion also is a random variable whose average value denoted dq is the notation dq emphasizes that the average distortion is a function of the encoding decoding procedure so qd equal to qt to dq less than d rate distortion function will be rd equal to minimum L Z B or Q equal to Q B. If D equal to zero, then R D is less than or equal to H Z. So we simply minimize I Z B by appropriate choice of Q or subject to the constant Q is greater than zero or Q D equal to D. The above equations are fundamental property of the channel matrix Q. These are the some reference books for this topic. So first one is digital communication by T A Singal. and second one is analog communication by bart and rao there are some multi choice questions here so we will discuss these multi choice questions one by one and these questions are very important for the clear the concept of this topics so in question first the capacity of gaussian channel is option a c equal to 2b into 1 plus s upon n bit per second option b c equal to v square into 1 plus s upon n bit per second option c c equal to v into 1 plus s upon n bit per second and option d c equal to v into 1 plus s upon n into 2 bit per second so here correct answer is option c the capacity of gaussian channel is c equal to v into 1 plus s upon n 
bit per second. For n equally likely messages, the average amount of information h is option a h equal to log of n m, option b h equal to log of 2 m, option c h equal to log of 10 m square, option d h equal to 2 log of 10 m. So, what is the information edge? Here, the correct option is the option B. The information edge equal to log of two n. In next questions, the channel capacity is option A. The maximum information transmitted by one symbol over the channel. Option B, information contained in a signals. Option C, the amplitude of the modulated signals. And option D, all of the above. So the channel capacity is, so here option A is correct. The channel, the channel capacity is maximum information transmitted by one symbol over the channel. So here, correct answer is option A. Next, according to Shannon Hartley theorem, option A, the channel capacity become infinite with infinite bandwidth. Option B, the channel capacity does not become infinite with infinite bandwidth. Option C has a trade off between bandwidth and channel to noise ratio. And option D, both B and C are correct. So according to Shannon Hartley forum, option B and C are correct. Option B is the channel capacity does not be coming infinite with infinite bandwidth and also option C has a trade-off between bandwidth and signal to noise ratio. So these are the two options is correct for the Simon Hartley theorem. In next questions, the negative statements for Shannon's theorem state that Option A, if R is greater than C, the error probability increase toward unity. Option B, if R is less than C, the error probability is very small. Option C, both A and B. Option B, none of the above. So here, option A is correct answer, the negative statement for Sinan statement theorem that if R is greater than C, the error probability increase toward in unity. So correct answer is option A. For M equally likely message, M is large greater than 1 if the rate of information R is greater than C, the probability of error is option A arbitrary small, option B close to unity, option C not predictable, and option D is unknown. So here correct answer is option B close to unity. And next question is the channel capacity according to Shannon's equation is option A maximum error free communication, option B defined for 
property mount system. Option C, information transmitted. Option D, all of the above. So for the channel capacity, according to Shannon's equation, all, all options are correct. First one, maximum error free communication. Second, defined for optimum system. And next one, information transmitted. So all options are all option are correct for the Shannon equations. The next questions, the technique that may be used to increase average information per bit age. Option A, Shannon NO algorithm. Option B, ASK. Option C, FSK. Option D, digital modulation technique. So, the technique that may be used for to increase the average information per bit is Shannon Feno algorithm. So, here, correct answer is option A Shannon Feno algorithm. The next question Information rate is defined as so, what is the information rate? Option A information per unit time. Option B, average number of bits of information per second. And RH, D1 is the all of the above. So here, correct option is B, information rate is defined as information per unit time and also average number of bit of information per second and also rs so here all of the above option are correct for the information rate is defined These are the multi choice questions. Thank you, thank you very much.